Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents, introducing to you with pride my pastor Joseph Valerie as we listen to a portion of this weekend's message. God bless you. Verse 7 he says he stores up sound wisdom for the upright. Now, what's the benefit in serving him? He's telling us he is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the path of the just of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity and, and, and every good path. He says in verse number 10, when wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is present to your soul, discretion will preserve you, understanding will keep you, to deliver you from the ways of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things. So remember, the question is, what profit is there in keeping the word of the Lord? Well, you will understand the fear of the Lord, he says. You will find knowledge, the knowledge of God. How important is the knowledge? God, even in this time, the day that we're living in now, there's so much knowledge that is going to and fro throughout the earth at the, just like that, at the speed of light almost. Knowledge is going throughout the earth. But the knowledge that I'm talking about is the knowledge of the kingdom of God. It's the knowledge of God, knowing him. Unfortunately, there are a lot of souls who do not know the kingdom of God, who do not know the knowledge of God. So he says you will gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He says there will be protection. He said he would be a shield to those who walk upright before him. Hallelujah. One place in scripture says that his hand will go before you. His hand is upon you and his hand is your rear guard. Hallelujah. So he's protecting you and I. He said he's our rear guard. He says, listen, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. Glory to God. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. What does that say to you? That tells me that whatever plan, whatever plot, whatever scheme the enemy has, whatever plan he has perpetrated against me, it will not prevail. Whatever plan is perpetrated against you, it will not prevail. Why? Because God is on your side. Paul says this. He says, if God is for us, who can be against us? He called us more than conquerors. That's right. And we're overcomers in this world. John said this, whosoever Whosoever will say that Jesus is the Son of God, he is an overcomer. An overcomer. Look at your neighbor say, an overcomer. He says you'll gain wisdom. Why? By doing it his way. You'll gain wisdom. What are we talking about? What did they ask? What profit is there in keeping your word? Mm, when you keep his word, he'll protect you. When you keep his word, you'll gain wisdom beyond your years. Glory to God. When you keep his word, he'll preserve you with understanding and discretion. He'll deliver you from the ways of the evil. And as I said before, God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. He takes pleasure in you growing. He takes pleasure in you getting larger and larger and larger in wisdom and in understanding of the things of God. He takes pleasure in your fatness. Glory! I'm not talking about fat on your body. I'm talking about fat in your spirit, fat in your head, and understanding of the things of God. Well, what'd you learn in church today? Well, the preacher called me fat. <laughs> Glory to God. Woo! <laughs> the Apostle John writes in 3 John. He says in verse number 1, The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth, beloved, I pray, King James says this, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. He says, for I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you. Just as you walk in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. So he says, now, beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper. Now, remember, what did he say early on? He delights in his servants prospering and the prosperity of his servants. And I'm not talking about just material things.
things, family. In every area of your life, God desires that you prosper. What are we talking about here? We're talking about what the children of Israel said. Well, what, what profit is us? What profit is it for us to serve him? What profit is this for us to obey him? He desires that we prosper. And the writer here says, John says here, it does me no greater joy than to hear that you walk in the truth. The truth is his word. Glory to God. He says, thy word is what? It's true. And so as we walk, as we live, as we remain, as we dwell in his word, you prosper in every area of your life. It's line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, you prosper. Why? Because you're walking in the truth of God's word. You prosper in your mind, you prosper in your emotions, you prosper in your belly, in every area of your life, you prosper. Why? Because you walk in the truth of the word of God. God said he sent his word, and his word will not return void, but it will accomplish everything that he desires. Wherever he sends his word, it will produce the desire. 